I'm Dawn, your Fiber Foods Coach, and I'm going to continue explaining how to make a baked artichoke. I'm actually using a recipe uh, that I found on For the Love of Cooking, which I think is just perfect for artichokes. It's a baked version, so it'll give the artichokes a lot of flavor when you add the seasonings. And I've also added a few other um, things that I recommend. I am using, for the seasonings, parsley, which I'll chop, thyme, fresh thyme, and also bay leaves, about two or three of these. And I don't have uh, fresh basil and sage, but I'm going to add a little bit of that to give it some extra flavor. Some uh, sea salt and uh, cracked black pepper. Um, we have now cut our artichokes in halves and we have scooped out the choke. And this is what it looks like. And we applied or rubbed it down with lemon juice so it doesn't brown. Now what I'm going to do is take some um, seasoning items like a shallot, for example, and about two cloves of garlic. I, I'm just chopping up the garlic and I am chopping, actually slicing the shallot along with about two bay leaves and I'm adding to that some thyme. I just like to strip the thyme down, take the leaves off essentially and some fresh parsley. I'm simply going to chop the parsley. I'm really going to just boil this up. It makes it easier to chop. And be very careful and I don't need the stems really so I'm going to take those off and what I'm going to do is take these ingredients and make a little mixture okay so this is fairly chopped up and so now I'm going to take my mixture and this is the mixture I had already prepared and as I mentioned, I added some additional seasonings. I didn't have fresh basil, so I'm using uh, this from my pantry, this uh, dried basil leaves and sage from my pantry. But if you can get the fresh version, that's even better. Okay, so here's my mixture. And I'm gonna add about, about two teaspoons olive oil. I'm going to mix this up. Let's put a dash of my uh, sea salt and a little bit of black pepper. I like pepper in everything practically. Everything that's not a sweet. And not to mention the garlic. I love garlic. Okay, so I'm going to um, take this mixture and really just rub it into my artichoke so it'll have a lot of flavor. And when you bake this and you're baking it, um, well we're going to bake it for 50 minutes. Um, that length of time baking will give it a lot of flavor. What I also want to do um, is cut it another time because it'll just allow us to get the flavor to seep in as much as possible. I'm going to move this oil out of the way so I don't spill that. So I'm just going to cut it one more time. So really I have quarters and that will just help with giving us flavor. Let's get our baking dish. Um, we need to spray it with some olive oil. And I've actually done that already. And so now I'm just going to lay face down my artichokes. 
and I'm gonna really rub Really rub the seasoning in very well. And um, for the love of cooking, also recommends adding a little chicken broth, which I have here. And we're going to bake this at 350 degrees. We want to cover this, and then we will just put this in the oven for 50 minutes. And um, I'll be back to show you the recipe. Mmm, smells good. Just take one out. This one looks really tender. Just, hmm. I don't know. Seems like it could be a little more tender. Let's sample it. Mmm, it's good. Mmm, very good. Let's just put a little bit of grated Parmesan cheese on it. And I want to make sure you can see it. That's how it looks. Lots of savory juices. And I think the hearts are really going to be good. Let me sample the heart with you. I'm gonna get right into the bottom of it below, of course, you know where the choke was. Mmm, good. Very good. I hope you try it and I hope you enjoy it. This is Dawn, your fiber food coach, and you can learn more about fiber foods from my website, fiberfoodscoach.com. Hope you visit.